Um, sorry, I'm in a bit of a funny position. Hello, welcome to Wednesday's maths lesson. Um, hopefully by now you should have watched, sorry, that's my email going off in the background. Hopefully by now you should have watched or been on to the BBC Bite Size. Um, I thought that was um, nice as a bit of an alternative to me talking to you constantly. But I did want to explain today's work to you because um, I've put in your notes for your parents to have a look at the answer sheets before because it is a little bit complicated for some of you. So I'm going to model it, but bear with me because I'm going to have to jump from one position to another position um, just to go through it. So the first thing I wanted to do was just share the screen for the first group's work. So Asia and Africa, you should be seeing a sheet that looks like this. Starts with I, me, mine, myself, do you know your pronouns? So I'm not asking you to do all of the sentences, but what I would like you to do is rewrite the sentence into your um, home learning book and the word that's in bold, the noun that is in bold, I want you to use a correct pronoun to replace it. So I'm just gonna stop sharing the screen. I'm gonna to point to the board up and I'm just gonna stand up. So the first question that you've got, the first sentence that you've got says, Cahill just loves maths. Maths is his favorite subject. So what I want you to do is I want you to rewrite the sentence in your home learning book replacing this second word maths with the correct pronoun so it would be khalil just loves maths and then this is a semicolon it is his favorite subject. So you don't need to write the first sentence. You don't even need to print the worksheet out. You can just do the rewrite bit and replace the, the noun in bold. What I would like you to do, because obviously when you come back to school, this work I'm going to be looking at, is if you can just underline the replacement that you've put in, then that way I can I can work it out. Otherwise, I'm just going to be guessing because I won't have the worksheets in front of me. All right. So that is for Asia and America. I'm just crouching back down again now. So if I go back to share screen and I come back to here, you'll see that worksheet. Now, Europe, your worksheet looks a bit like this one. Well, it looks a lot like this one because it is. So it says chocolate first came from Central America. It was originally called chocolatel. When Spanish explorers traveled to the new world, they found many unknown foods there. These were brought back as gifts for their kings and queens. In 1847, Joseph Fry made the first chocolate bar, which he called chocolate cream. British people must love chocolate because on average, we eat eight and a half kilograms each every year which could make us very fat. Now, what it's asking you to do is in that paragraph, it wants you to circle the pronouns and then it wants you to match them together. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna model what it wants you to do. So you can see I've copied the first part here of what you've been asked to do. So chocolate first came from America, it was originally called. So it's asking you to circle the pronouns so, for example, it, which is referring to the chocolate. When Spanish explorers travelled to the New World, they, so they, which is referring to Spanish explorers. Now, what I want you to do underneath, so I'm just going to disappear down here so that you can see me. I know if you're in my class, you're used to me crouching down on the floor and sitting down on the floor and things when I'm cheap teaching you. So I want you to make a list of those matching nouns and pronouns. So the pronoun that you've circled, so it, I want you to, to say what noun it is referring to. So it is talking about chocolate. So you would match those two together. And they 
is talking about the Spanish with a capital explorers. So obviously there are more in there, but I'm not going to do all of them because then I might as well just do the whole lot and you just cop stop, pause the video and copy it. All right, I'm going to go back to sharing the screen now. So I'm talking to you now, the Americas. And yours, should it dare to let me do it? Yours looks like this one. So again, it's just getting slightly more complicated. In the following paragraph, lots of pronouns circle each one. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go through the whole paragraph and you are going to oh, sorry, I can't it over. You're going to go through the whole paragraph and you're going to circle the pronouns, just like you were asked to do with the Europe worksheet. And then you're just going to link it to the one that it to the noun that it replaces. So I'll model a couple of examples on the board. And then the second part to your work is about Andy the astronaut. It says it has far too many pronouns and not enough nouns. Can you work out which noun each pronoun relates to? Watch out, there are some tricky ones. So I'll model again on, on here. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen and you're going to see me again. I'm going to nip over to this side. So the first thing you're going to do is go through this, the, the top paragraph. I haven't copied it all out, I've just done some of it. So you're going to circle the pronouns. So it, in my bit, I can see it and I can see they. So I've circled them. Then you're going to join them to the noun that they're replacing. So with mine, I'm just going to draw a line to show it and chocolate are joined together. And then I'm going to draw one. It's worked out quite neatly for me because they're close to each other from where I've written it. And a line between they and Spanish explorers because those two go together as well. Then if I guide you down to here, to um, when Andy the astronaut came back to Earth after his two man space voyage, so what you can do using some different colours is Andy the astronaut is the noun, but in that group of texts, there are some pronouns that talk, that refer to Andy the astronaut instead of saying his name all the time. So when Andy the astronaut came back to Earth after his two man space voyage, he had lots of news to tell his friends and family. So, that is me underlining in the same colour everything that refers to Andy the astronaut. Now there might be some more in the um, in the paragraph that you need to choose that you would need to use in the same colour. There may also be another noun, for example, two man space voyage. That's another noun. And then in there, there might be a pronoun that refers to the space voyage. So you would underline that in green. If you're not following the example, if you're, you are a little bit confused, you can ask your parents or whoever you're doing this with to have a quick look at the answers beforehand. And then have a quick look at the answers beforehand and then they can guide you in a little bit more detail, but I don't want to give too much away. Otherwise, again, I might as well just let you pause the screen and copy it down into your book. All right. So see how you get on. If you're still a bit confused, come back and see me um, on the Zoom this afternoon and I'll see if there's any questions I need to answer then. But good luck with it all. I have the utmost faith in you. Hope you have a good rest of the Wednesday and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.